Hi, it's Lori from LoriStory.com. I thought I'd do a real quick video just to show you an easy way to address your envelopes so that they look like they have the handwritten touch to them, but you actually used the Cricut Explore and the Pen Tool to address the envelopes. So let's get started. We're going to create a new project. And to do this method, you could use either pre-made envelopes or one that you made and assembled in Cricut Design Space. I am going to do an envelope for a standard A2 size card and I already have some pre-made envelopes. So first thing we need to do is go to insert images. I'm going to go to my image sets. I'm going to type the word Cricut and I'm going to use the Cricut Craft Room Basics as this is a free cartridge for everyone. And I'm just going to grab this rectangle. I'm going to size the rectangle by going, clicking on the rectangle, clicking on the edit menu. I'm going to unlock the key proportions. I'm going to change the width to 5.5 and the height to 4.25. That's a standard A2 size card. I know the envelope is slightly bigger, but, but this will be close enough for what I want to do. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is type in my text. So I'm going to add text. I'm going to type in a return address and I'm just going to make up one. And I want a writing style. So I'm going to go over here to the edit window. I'm going to click on all fonts and I'm going to choose has writing style. And that will give me a list of fonts in this upper menu that I can use that have a single line writing style. And I'm going to use this lyrical letters and I'm going to use my control handles and just make this a little bit smaller. While we're at it, I'm going to change this. I'm going to click over here in the layers panel on the text. And I'm just going to change this to, um, let's change it to midnight so that you can see it better. Okay, and I'm going to set that up there. Okay, so now we need to add the address to the recipient. So again, we're going to add text. And I'm going to send this card to Santa Claus. And he lives at one, two, three. North Pole and dang it's cold USA. Okay and again I want writing style it's still in lyrical letters uh, actually it's lyrical letters to oh. dog heaven. I'm going to I like that font so I'm just going to scale this down a little bit and I can either leave it right justified like that or I can center it. And I think I like it right justified. Now what I need to do in order for this to print right on my envelope is I have to attach any text to the envelope. So I'm going to, while that is selected, I'm going to hold my shift key and I'm going to click on the envelope. Now I'm going to right click and attach. Okay, so let's, this is now on top of my return address. Let's arrange, move to back, which is the one right here. Now we can line that back up. We're going to select everything, right click, and attach. And what we're doing this time is attaching that return address. So now this is one piece. Both sets of text is attached. We're going to just click on go. Okay, so in this uh, first screen that comes up, you can see we've got our envelope here and the writing is attached where we want it. You can move it at this point. If you want to put it in a different corner or in a different place in your mat, you can do that. Or if you had multiple ones, you could arrange them 
uh, however you wanted. You could actually do probably four envelopes at a time, depending on the size. So we're going to just hit go. Okay, so I have just a regular A2 size envelope and I'm going to put it on my mat in this upper left corner. And you might want to use a little bit of painter's tape or something just to hold it down really good if your mat's not real sticky. I'm going to load it in my mat. And you'll notice on the screen it tells me to put in my pen accessory. Uh, it's calling for the midnight pen, but you could put whatever color you wanted in. I'll go ahead and put the midnight in. I'm going to put my finger on the bottom. The arrow of the pen is facing forward, and I'm just going to push it till it clicks. Close the accessory tool, and hit go. And now that it's done printing, we want to hit the pause button so that it doesn't try to cut the rectangle. And there, and there we have our hand addressed envelope. It's perfect for my Christmas card. I'm off to go send a letter to Santa. Thanks for watching. Mm-hmm.